Well, hello there, friend. Thanks for stopping by. Today, we're installing a Von Duprin 990 night latch trim. This is what it look like, might look like here in your hardware schedule. There's our 990 NL. So we've already got it laid out. These are pretty, pretty simple. You're going to find these on a lot of your jobs. Here I'm drilling the holes I marked. I believe I must be drilling it with a 530 seconds there. Man, these doors were super thick, which it's a good thing, you know, very secure, but really thick doors. So now I have my quarter inch drill bit and I'm drilling quarter inch hole all the way through the door for the four center case holes. That'll be going into the 990 trim. On the interior, those holes are supposed to be one quarter inch, according to the instructions, so that's what we're drilling them. On the outside, those four holes are supposed to be 1330 seconds. So I'm using my drill block there to get those holes straight through the door. Look at that, perfectly straight. Well, close enough. Be close enough for this one. And I got my step bit, I'm gonna step out those holes to exactly 1330 seconds no more no less wink wink no exactly 1330 seconds of course and there we're almost ready to put the trim on the door what do we got to do here's our trim there's the little beauty collar that comes with it and I'm going to be installing a rim cylinder that I got right there so I'm using it's got those two uh, beauty rings on it. It's got the collar that comes with the cylinder and then the, the little collar that comes inside the box with the, uh, with the trim. And here I'm searching everywhere to find my little cylinder cup for mounting it to the back of the trim. I could not find it. I don't either. I missed it when I was unpacking the box or, you know, it didn't come in there either way. I keep a couple extra with me and uh, so the back side of this cylinder cup is uh, so close to the back of the cylinder that I'm just using some 1224 machine butt screws rather than the breakaway screws that come with the cylinder. Those seem to work good. I'm not sure if the, uh, um, yeah, I'm not sure if it's uh, the breakaway screws are even short enough. So here I'm taking the bottom post off, and that helps me um, mark that fifth hole. Because uh, I just do it that way, it makes it easy to mark that fifth hole, make sure it's right where it's supposed to be. So I'm now just holding that over, and I'm gonna mark that hole. Then I'm taking the trim back, and I'll put that post back on. And I make sure that post is back on and tight and then I also make sure that the screw above it is tight because when you turn that handle it could possibly loosen that top screw so now I'm gonna go put it in nope no I'm not you didn't drill the hole yet guy go drill that fifth hole there you go all right I got my quarter inch bit and my drill block and uh, interestingly enough the instructions say that this uh, fifth hole should be uh, 7 sixteenths and it is you see the post is a little bit bigger than the other post. Hey, there's my buddy Shane Hey Shane, it's a good guy right there So we got the hole drilled the outside hole was 7 sixteenths on that fifth screw and the inside hole is 3 eighths Screw it in like that and you're ready to put your panic in That's pretty easy you go, well, if it's that easy, why'd you make a video of it, guy? Well, you know, one thing I like about door hardware is there's a lot of variations. So it's all the same and it's all different. <laughs> what am I doing here? Oh, I'm putting in the uh, cylinder dogging security indicator while it's on the bench. So I'm removing the hex plug, popping the actuator arm in, pulling the springs back, and then inserting the cylinder dogging plug, just like that. Now it's ready to go on the door. Put my magnet on the door to hold the end up. I'm gonna 
mount it with the center case support screws or the fifth and sixth hole screws. Fifth and sixth, there it is. And then I'm gonna use a screwdriver to screw the center case to the trim. I just like doing it that way. Yeah, so not too, not too bad. I'm hoping, oh, don't drop that. Don't drop it. Yeah, so uh, hopefully at some point here I'm gonna test it before I like finish screwing it all the way off and make sure I got all lined up and working real smooth. Are you gonna test it? You should have tested it already. You're gonna have to redo this if it's not working. All right, why don't you test it? All right, let's see, that was the control key guy. There's the, hey, that's working good, nice. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. Have some more videos coming your way. Thanks so much for your time. We'll catch you next time.